Hello guys and welcome to my 19th video tutorial on XHTML and CSS. In this video I will show you how to use classes and IDs. Okay, so let's go to portal and open page1.html with our friend Notepad++. Just delete all the code that you have from the last uh, video. And <coughs> inside uh, the body section let's type two different paragraphs my uh, first paragraph okay and now a second my second paragraph paragraph okay so <coughs> you already know how to change um, if we wanted to change the color let's say color red okay you know how to change all um, the content inside p tags to red right we should type <coughs> the p selector and then color red but what about if i want a color red for the first paragraph and a color blue, a blue for the second. I would have to type. Uh, I would have to use classes. Okay, so classes. We use classes to to give unique um, to give unique uh, properties to to each paragraph or each uh, tag. So let's write. Uh, let's type space after inside the the opening uh, paragraph tag or p tag. Type after p type space and then class equals. And then you can give any name you want. So I'm going to give it a, f a first. Okay, first. So now um, the selector in CSS should be dot first dot means class okay so CSS reads this as class first okay and then color oops color red okay let's see if it works uh, and there it is the first I the first um, paragraph is in red color so I want to give now another class to the second paragraph to give it another color. So let's give a class name to the second paragraph and second. Okay, and now we should type class second. Okay, color blue. Save this go to the browser refresh and there it is color blue okay um, we can use the same class name for uh, another tag okay so if we had h1 okay and now hello close h1 I can use class first as well here okay I can use the same name to give the same properties of the first paragraph give the same properties to this uh, content here which is hello and I will give it the property is color red so hello would be in color red if I give the same class name which is first okay save this and refresh and there it is color red okay if I change uh, this to second, it would change to color blue. Okay. See? Okay. So you can use the same class name uh, as many times you want for different tags. Okay. Um, so this is how classes work. And now I'm going to show you a similar uh, technique for um, which is called IDs okay so IDs work similar way but 
let's type first two different divs in our body section my first div okay and another div and now we have two divs different divs in our body and instead of class you type ID and then type whatever name you want okay and the second name let's give it another ID and let's uh, type the selector for the first div which is called which has um, ID num a name one and to write that ID, you remember that to, to um, the selector for classes or name classes was a dot and then the name of the class. So for IDs, we use this symbol right here and then the name of the ID, which is one. And then color, uh, color blue. And now let's type the second ID 2 color red okay let's save it let's open this and refresh it and there it is okay color blue for the first div color red for the second div but uh, the difference between uh, IDs and classes remember that we could use uh, the same name uh, class name for different uh, tags okay but divs we should give divs uh, only a div or sorry uh, an ID name only once okay so I have now an ID name one and we shouldn't use this ID name in other divs or other um, tags okay so I shouldn't do this like for example ID blah and then type one okay we should use ID only once okay ID names so this is all for this video if you have any questions or any doubts about this just send me a message or post your questions in the comment section below guys so see you guys later don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day bye